Today we're going to talk about Cinch Gaming and the awesome controllers that they make and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. So today we are going to talk about Singe Gaming and what a remarkable gaming company they are for custom controllers. But before we get into the video, if you haven't already entered into the Destiny 2 Forsaken giveaway for the month of December, then remember there is going to be 4 winners, then click on the link in the description box below for your chance to win. So just as a disclaimer, yes. I am sponsored by Cinch Gaming, however, Cinch did not pay me in order to do this video. They have a product that I believe in 100% and I feel that it is amazing. Now real quick, there is no scripts in this video, but I did take notes, that way I wouldn't forget things. And there's a lot of things that I want to cover. And I also apologize if I say um a lot because I probably will, because I'm trying to gather my thoughts as I'm going along with this. So before I actually get into the actual company itself, let me educate you guys on the difference between a custom controller versus a modded controller. So custom controllers can be used on an everyday basis um, in any game, including in tournaments. These controllers have things like remappable buttons, trigger stops, um, they have things that do not affect the game itself internally. Modded controllers, on the other hand, are not legal to use inside or outside of tournaments, and they have things like infinite ammo, um, uh, invulnerability, I think I said that right, either vulnerability or invulnerability, whatever makes you not die, <laughs> um, infinite lives, or something that has to do with currency. Those are not allowed at all in games and if you get caught using those then you can definitely get in trouble so cinch gaming specializes in custom controllers now what am i mean by custom is we'll take my controller as a perfect example the customability customiz customizability <laughs> in this thing is huge almost anything you want to be done to a controller can be done whether it be the front face plate the back face plate the triggers, the bumpers, um, the thumb, uh, I'm sorry, the thumbsticks, the D-pad, the buttons on the side, the start and options button, even the uh, PlayStation button can be changed. However, what sets Cinch Gaming apart from most other companies is the simple fact that they use buttons instead of paddles. And I will say, it feels remarkable compared to paddles and I'll get into that in just a second. My controller has two remappable buttons and I can remap these to either my triggers, my D-pad, or um, any of these buttons right here. Now, oh, sorry. <laughs> um, you can get these with static buttons, which you just tell them which buttons you want them to be remapped to, and those are the only ones that it'll be. That's what static is. Um, for this controller, you can get them with either two buttons or four. Now, mine has two buttons, and the two buttons are at the highest point, and the four buttons would actually put two extra buttons on uh, the lower points. Now, mine is actually very, very lightweight, um, even with two buttons, because I had the um, rumbles removed, and if you get the four button option, they automatically get removed in order to make space for those buttons. This controller actually comes with trigger stops in both the um, L2 and R2 uh, sides and you can't, I mean, you probably could see it, but you need an Allen wrench to, in order to actually adjust those. You can change the thumbsticks, however I kept the original thumbsticks and I actually use a control freak on mine just because I like the product, you know. It has nothing to do with, you know, not wanting cinches uh, extended or um, different types of uh, thumbsticks. I just like using a control freak. Now for the buttons, they do have different options. You can have static colors. Uh, mine is actually gray, but they do have LED options from which you can turn, uh, or which you can have red, green, or blue. Unfortunately, it's not RGB and having it whatever color you want, but that would be pretty cool. And if Cinch Gaming actually did that, then yeah. 
probably would get one. Now, this has a 100% natural feel to it. And that's because Cinch Gaming actually takes your controller or takes a natural regular PlayStation controller and actually makes the, um, how do you say, the customization out of that controller. They don't actually use their own, you know, how do you say, their own shells like other gaming companies do. Uh, Scuff is a good example. They use their own shell in order to actually use their controllers. Now, you can actually do a send in service and it will make these controllers cheaper um, than what they normally would be. However, Cinch Gaming controllers are not as expensive as their competitors. You can make a 100% bare bones Cinch controller versus a 100% bare bones scuff controller and it will be still cheaper than a scuff controller. Now, I have had this for over a year and a half. I have not had any single issues with it and I definitely would recommend you guys getting one. Now this is Cinch Gaming's uh, website and you can go to it by uh, going into the URL cinchgaming.com forward slash dev that's D-E-V and as of this video this is what their current layout looks like. You have the home, shop controllers, shop gear, learn more as well as going into your account and your wonderful uh, basket. Now there is so much customiz customizability, I can't even say it, that can be done with these controllers. They don't just do PS4, they do Xbox One and if you looked right here they also have custom controllers for GameCube. Now for those who are huge, huge Super Smash Bros fans, what does that tell you? Like seriously, this is going to be big when Super Smash Bros Ultimate comes out. And we'll get into all that in just a second. So you can actually design your own um, Cinch PS4 or Cinch Xbox One controller and we'll actually go into all the options or you can actually buy one that is already made and just have it sent to you and like I said before they also have a GameCube controller and we will get into that in just a second so real quick we're going to go over the customization for the PS4 controllers first Now as you can see we have controller type, front shell, rear shell, remap chip, top action button type, right, oh, I'm sorry, top right configuration, top left configuration, bottom action button type, uh, D-pad, bumpers and triggers, button colors, touchpad color, that's new, uh, right thumbstick, left thumbstick, thumbstick caps, trigger stops, rumbles, controller build time, extended warranty, PS4 protective case, uh, controller cable, Blitz Energy, which obviously is a drink, and then Gamer Goo. So we're going to do a very, very basic um, build real quick and see how much it costs. So controller type, we're going to make it a new one. Front shell is going to be uh, red. Rear shell, we're going to leave the same. Remap chip. Top action buttons, we're going to leave uh, 3.0 buttons. Just keep it black, keep it simple. We're not gonna put any bottom buttons. D-pad, we're going to make Hulk green. Bumpers, we're gonna keep the same. Button colors, Hulk green again. Touchpad, all this is pretty much gonna be the same. Trigger stops, we're gonna add, as well as rumbles are taken out. And then we're just gonna leave this. So we're at 166.78, and this is plus uh, shipping. So, 166.78 dollars, and like I said, that includes shipping and this very same configuration on a scuff controller cost 
$192.70. That is the subtotal plus the shipping. Yes, both companies do uh, provide coupon codes and both of them are 5% off. However, even with that coupon code, Cinch Gaming is still a lot cheaper than its, uh, how do you say, um, than its competitor, which is Scuff Controllers. Like, God, $192.70 just for a basic model versus $166.78. I don't know, you guys choose. So let's go ahead and customize an Xbox One controller. So we're going to keep the front design the same, controller type is going to be new, remap chip is a go, top action buttons we are going to add, so there's four buttons, it's going to be remap so I'm just going to leave it as is, trim kit, we're going to go green, buttons, I'm going to have them green as well, rear panels, Mm. Uh, we'll do the cinch grip. No thumb caps. Adjustable trigger stops. Rumbles removed. And so this is a basic controller, okay? It is $174.82 and that includes shipping. Now, I've tried my best to make a pretty much a replica of this one on Scuff Gaming's website and we come out to $188.75 which still in all makes Cinch Gaming a lot cheaper for Cinch than it is on Scuff. So when it comes to gaming price is a huge thing for a lot of people however price to performance actually outweighs just price and as you guys can see Cinch Gaming's price and I would say performance outweighs Scuff completely. However, in the interest of fairness, if you like the feel of paddles, then I would choose a Scuff. If you like the feel of buttons instead of paddles, then I would choose a Cinch. That's just me. Now, as for the Destiny 2 Forsaken Annual Pass giveaway, for the month of November, the winner is David Baldo of Mexico City. So, I will be contacting you shortly in order to give you the code for the annual pass, and congratulations. Would I highly recommend Cinch Gaming Controllers? Yes. I would highly recommend it 100%. Like I said before, I have used mine this specific one for a year and a half but I've been using this company's controller well over four years now and I have yet to have any gripes or concerns and if I did have a concern I'm pretty sure that they would address it as soon as possible now I understand I'm not trying to sell you guys on it the decision is completely yours however if you guys do decide to use a Cinch Gaming controller, then you guys can use coupon GW0311 in order to get 5% off your entire purchase. You can use that code no matter how many times you want on as many purchases as you can. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.